Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 631. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 628 to 635. In this trick here, we want to highlight dates and invoice numbers, in essence, transactions that are 90 days uh, or more old. So in essence, and we want it to be dynamic, right? So if I were to change this here, I want the conditional formatting to change. In addition, when I open it up tomorrow, I want it to show me, for instance, uh, the whatever invoices just became past due today. Let's come over and see how to do this. We're going to use conditional formatting, true, false, logical formula. Uh, as always, it's easier, um, if, especially if you're not familiar with logical true false formulas, to build the formula in the cells, see if it works over the same size range, and then copy the formula and paste it into the conditional formatting dialog box. Now let's think about this. What are dates? Dates are serial numbers. If I control shift tilde, tilde is to the left of the number one, you can see that's 40,238 days since December 31st, 1899. January 1st, 1900 is the number 1. January 2nd, 1900 is the number 2, etc. Control Z. So if those are serial dates, can we uh, figure out the number hurdle, which everything below that date would give us, uh, like if this date was below our hurdle, then that means, boom, that one should be highlighted. Let's use the today function. Today function is an arguментless function. If I control enter, I can see that's today's date. Now this is dynamic. Tomorrow it'll say 22. The next day it'll say 23. I'm going to control shift tilde. You can see that it's still a number under there, right? Now that's not the hurdle. That's if today was the due date. Everything less than this would be um, past due. Control Z. So what do we need to do? We need to amend this and say minus this one right here. And I'm going to hit the F4 key, locked in all directions, because in all the cells, it needs to be looking at that 90. By the way, there's no cell references here, so that one just remains the same. right? Control Shift tilde to just see. Now, if I copy this over and over, you can see it's just those are all the hurdles. That's not what we want. Control ZZ. But what if we did this? Since that's the hurdle, and this has got some serial numbers, we just have to ask the question, is this date? less than this date. So we click here and we say is that less than that. Now depending on whatever your criteria is you could use equal or not. This one is just less than nine uh, or yeah less than the 90 days. Now we gotta think about that cell reference. If this is going to go into the conditional formatting dialog box when we move it over here it needs to be locked so that invoice number and date gets uh, looking at this date right here, but it moves down, it needs to move to the next one. So we simply put our cursor and hit the F4, one, two, three time. You lock the column reference, but not the row. Control Enter. This is a true false formula, right? Be logical formula because there's a comparative operator. True. I'm going to drag this over. Drag it down. And we can see, sure enough, that is the pattern we need to highlight transactions that are less than are 90 days past due. So now, once we have this, when you take a formula and paste it into dialog box. It's as if you're going to paste it into this cell and copy it down and over just like we did. So you always have to um, grab this formula right here in the top left corner, control C, escape, and then highlight so the active cell is the one in the top left corner. Alt O D, that's O D, new rule. Use formula, click in this text box. And er, in 2003 or earlier, you click in the first text box, which is formula is, control V. I'm going to click format, whatever format you want. Click OK, click OK, click OK. And sure enough, now we have it. And the beautiful thing is, is as invoices, um, elapse and get a more than become more than 90 days past due this for this formatting will automatically appear because of the today function all right we'll see you next trick